right, finally getting to do the fuel system on uh, this poor forgotten SRT4 here. Um, we have injectors, we got a rail, we got a rewire, we have a fuel pump assembly uh, that uh, Run Performance did. Uh, it's set up for the AGP fuel return kit, which we have also that's brand new. So we're going to be installing all of these right here. We got to drop the tank. We're going to get everything installed. Real nice fuel setup here. Um, really nice canister. Uh, we went with the F F I C F I C 1200s. Uh, the rewire to help feed the pump. We got a blue rail to match. Uh, we did come across a. Uh, no, we didn't come across. We just ordered. We ordered a new uh, modern oil cap. Uh, we got the blue hoses. We installed them, and we're going to get this installed also. Uh, I did get to try out my new gas cans. Uh, we did have a full tank of gas, so um, we're going to come back here. I'm going to pull. Uh, got the wheel pulled. I'm going to just basically I pull these bolts here to get this drop down, and I can get this uh, charcoal canister here down out of the way, and I can get the tank drop. We're going to unhook the factory fuel line, which is up in here and our plug and uh yeah get to doing some upgrading okay so here's an example of the stock canister stock sock pick up the way it's set up and then over here is the one that we're getting ready to install uh nice sock the pump sticking out the back here a little bit you have to do that with the 450 um, Everything's going to fit right in. There's your new feed line where you're going to hook into. Um, the old regulator is now blocked off. Um, just a really nice pump setup. It'll install just as the factory one did. Slide it right in and uh, put your ring on and you're ready to go. All right, so we have our uh, fuel canister is now installed. Um, the tank's still out. This is the hose that you have to remove. And this goes to the tank here and off of your fill neck, which is kind of hard to see right here. Um, I already had one cut down. Uh, this is what you need to install for your uh, return, for your AGP uh, fuel return. Basically, you cut a section of that hose out and then clamp it back together just like this. One end goes onto the tank, one end goes back onto your filler neck and you actually return your fuel from your return line right into this and then down and through so i'm going to get everything together the kit does come with this and it does come with the clamps so i'm going to work on getting this stuff together i use a little bit of a wd-40 to help the hoses slide on a little bit and then we're just going to get everything clamped together we're going to get our tank set up in same way it came out pretty easy stuff got two straps get all that stuff reinstalled and then once I get to that point, I'll show you the uh, return, the, the feed line and how I'm gonna run the return line and the uh, rewire kit to help feed power to the pump. A little relaxation back here. <laughs> okay, so um, we do got the tank up. I've got the uh, return line here is connected. All right, everything is up and in. I'm just gonna kind of hold this out of the way for right now because that will be a little easier to move once I get everything else in here. So what we got is hopefully there's enough light. We have this filter assembly with our line that connects to our pump that we just installed to the canister. Alright. This end here screws right onto the canister. Right up here. So we're going to get that installed. Yeah, I know. It's making lots of room down here. Take the safety cover cap off. I've been here with this. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to get everything in place till I knew how this was going to install in here because they give you a clamp but I'm not quite sure where this should go yet whether we want to go that way or if it's going to go 
this way. Maybe we'll go that way, just like that. That looks pretty good. Just wrap off here. It just doesn't, I don't know. Like, right there? I can go there. Looks like I'm gonna need to put the clip on that. We're gonna need to put our locking clip onto this. And then we can get everything situated. So I gotta grab that off of the old uh, fuel tank pump assembly thinger and install it onto this, the little clip that goes on there that holds us. And then we'll be ready for... We have our fuel pump rewire right here. This plugs in series. There's that end zip tie the relay up and put our ground wire on up here so I have to get the stuff for that this needs to go on I need a clip so I'm gonna grab all that stuff so this is a little blue clip you just take a little screwdriver and you kind of push these little sides out and then it'll pop off but this is gonna go right on here clips on and then we're gonna stick this up in and our fuel line, hopefully I get this in here. Fuel line's going to push right up into this. Right here. Like that. All right, now that'll pivot around and you can get it where you want. Probably something like this right here and then I'm gonna mount the clamp to hold that filter up to the side and I'm gonna tighten down the rest of these lines nice right now goes on here that holds it up in place and the wire comes out here so I guess it's gonna go right here so I'm going to 
unbolt this. Just like that. This is uh, connection grease. So you always want to make sure you have good connections. So this will help keep it nice. Put this on both sides. A lot, a lot, a little. Doesn't matter as long as it keeps it from getting any kind of corrosion in here. All right. See where the return line comes out here, and then everything is installed up through here. We have to finish installing our our line for the uh, for the power to the pump. And with that being said, let's go up front here. I started getting some of the regulator kit uh, assembled here. Um, it comes in the pack all in pieces, so this was in a pack this i had to install and then you have to install the parts onto it our return line is right here so i got to get that screwed onto the bottom of that and then onto your feed line which is here they give you the bracket that goes onto the factory rail right here um if if you're not using a fuel pump that has the uh that eliminates that the factor regulator you need this part here and that uh stops the regulator from having a return so here's the one that goes to the line back there this one goes on your rail let me show you how to install the mounting bracket they tell you to put your gauge there which we're going to actually mount our gauge on our boomba rail that we have so we're going to be able to see it out front which is going to be really nice um, we cut the hose all that's in back there okay now this is the uh, factory regulator you're gonna pull that out that little block off plate goes here because I guess the fuel goes out here and then returns in that way and they give you they give you a new o-ring to actually install on there too also which is in the bags right there which you know we don't we're not using none of that um, here's the gauge that is included it's actually pretty nice liquid filled right there actually it's cool it's black and blue writing in there inside the bag so we're gonna actually be putting that onto our boomer rail um, yeah just like that all right so they show you how to run the line down through which ours is going to be a little bit different this is what you need to see back and through. I mean, they do show you some uh, some photos of the stuff down through here. There's a bunch of reading, everything that it comes with. Right now, at this point, I'm down to getting the regulator back in here, uh, screwing on the return line, and then getting the regulator mounted here. They give you a bolt. It just goes right through this hole here and mounts that in place after it clips onto your factory feed line right there so i'm going to get that stuff installed and that's half that battle and the next thing i got to do on the bottom will be the wire i'll show you guys what that looks like it's no different than any of the other ones that i've done just runs up through connects up top this rewires a little bit different than the other one it actually has the fuse up here toward the front so i don't know if it's how if it's more accessible or not but it's up here toward the front so I'll see how that is. And once that's on, we can power up the fuel system um, and see if we have any leaks in, up through into here. Um, I still have injectors to put in, but I'm probably not gonna put them in until we get our tune because they are going to be a lot larger than the ones that are in here. And when you try to start it, it's not gonna wanna run right. But we can get everything else up and running. Um, I'm going to do that and then I'm gonna bring it up to temp. I gotta top off the rest of the coolant because we did the rest of the coolant stuff with the fitting and stuff that i needed for the turbo but uh this is pretty much supposed to be about the car and mostly the fuel system so 
I'm gonna get this part hooked up. We're gonna hook up the battery. We're gonna check for any leaks. And yeah, then that part's gonna be done. This thing can actually sit here and idle, come up the temp because the coolant's in it now. The fuel system's all hooked up. Everything's gonna be done there. There's, you know, check for all them leaks. I'm down to putting the front mount on this car and a few other small items. And yeah, we're gonna be ready for a tune real, real soon. So I was saying that I needed to get this into here. We have the regulator here down in place. Um, I ran the line up. I did have it on the stock rail, but uh, I did want to get it fit up on the Boomba rail because the only thing that's going to be changing is going to be our um, injectors. Um, I did have this bolted in place, but it makes it really hard to adjust it the way that the location where they have this. So we just left this off so that we can slide it to the side when the time comes to adjust that stuff. But we got it adjusted down to about like 45 PSI here. Um, brought the car up to temp. Everything looked good. No leaks. Um, <clears throat> everything worked out. Um, yeah, I mean, awesome fuel pump. No leaks back there. No leaks up here through any of our fuel system. Um, you know, everything just seemed to work out really good. Uh, when I had it apart and I was putting this in... I, I turned it on and one of the older fuel ring fuel o-rings was quite deteriorated um this was supposed to have uh stage two injectors but it has stage ones in it and it has a mismatched one there with the orange ring which i, I believe they say is from a caliber but it's close enough or something like that so fuel system done brought it to temp um, really nice fuel system. Everything went in the way it was supposed to. All the fittings that uh, Run Up Performance hooked me up with worked perfect. Um, everything's working with the kit. I mean, it's good fuel pressure. Everything come right up, started right up. The fuel gauge was not reading right in this car. Um, I ended up pumping out 10 gallons of gas, and it said it had a half a tank. So that's off a little bit. But uh, we got the 10 gallons back in. It's showing a full tank again now. Are, are pretty much near um i gotta order an air filter for this car but just trying to uh just going over everything i need here quick but uh i'm gonna end this one here um a plus on the fuel system a plus on the shipping a plus on the packing everything that i put together here so far for this car should be working out pretty good a um, couple things yet to fix um tomorrow hopefully we can get the front mount on um <clears throat> I got to get the, like I said, I got to get that ordered. I'm, I'm resealing the valve cover yet, so hopefully I can get one of those uh, this weekend, and then I can get that done and get it out of here. Everything is just, so far, spot on with this. All right. Till the next one, we'll show you what this thing looks like done and uh, ready to go, and uh, maybe through some of the tuning.